My name is Ray Lucas. Lucas eludes a sack, takes off. I played in the NFL from 1996 to 2003. Lucas with the bomb to Keyshawn Johnson. Round draft pick and $2.5 million. I'm For the past six years, I've been a broadcaster hosting the New York Jets pre and post game shows. They're always playing from behind. I've been married to my wife, Ceci, for 15 years. And I have three daughters. By almost any measure, you could say that I have a great life. But until very recently, I was making plans to end it. At the time, I was addicted to pain pills, Percocets, Oxy, Demerol. I was taking roughly 80 pills a day. Dear Lord, so please let this food all of our money, our thousands of dollars a month, went to pay for my addiction. I was doing this because my life had been consumed by pain ever since I retired from the NFL. Side by side. Jets spread the backfield again, or spread the field, and here is Lucas. And is, that Ray, is that Ray Lucas on the ground? It is. In my second season, I suffered two herniated discs inverted and had shooting pains from my middle of my back down through my legs and into my feet. I would played with that for the next six years. Inside that time as well. Lucas gets dumped as the throw is incomplete. And Lucas is hurt. Today, every morning when I wake up, the nerve damage in my back is so bad that I have to punch my legs awake. Ugh. And pain in my neck. It actually sends my body into uncontrollable spasms. Concussions. I've had more than 19 concussions. 19 that I know of. A little flare up that time. It's a fumble, and Lucas is still down. No one ever told us what the effects of the concussions were going to be in the future. No one. Trainers, doctors, coaches, nobody. Oh boy, you look at Ray Lucas. That's tough. So the pain doesn't stop when you finish playing. But the health insurance from the NFL? most certainly does. And no insurance plan was going to cover me with my pre-existing conditions from my NFL injuries. There was really nothing left for me to do except take every single pain pill that I could get my hands on. And when that wasn't enough, I would get what I needed off the street. I was worse than worthless. I thought I was a drain on everyone who loved me, and I came to the conclusion that there was nothing else to do except end my miserable life. My plan was to get into my truck and drive to the George Washington Bridge's upper deck and make a hard right in the middle of the bridge and pray to God that I didn't take anybody else with me. I was sitting at home one day and got a call from a player. And on the other end of the phone, he says to me, um, I'm going to kill myself. I need help, and I need help now, and I'm going to kill myself on Sunday. You don't get a lot of calls like that. And um, Let's go. that's how Ray Lucas came to pass. Uh, it's great. I'm getting surgery. I'm cool with it. PAST is an organization that was started by Dr. William Ficazio, and it's comprised of many medical specialists that are dedicated to working as a team to provide comprehensive pro bono medical services to retired NFL players. You know what I mean? Like, how many fucking times am I going to have to go through this stuff? You know? Like, how many times? If you had things that we couldn't fix and we couldn't do, and that would be a, such, such a tragedy, but there are things that we could fix for you. And that's the way I think you have to look at it. The first thing we had to do with Ray is provide him with a fusion surgery, removing the discs from his neck and then fusing the vertebrae together that he should have had several years earlier but with no insurance couldn't get. Mommy did a great job, really smooth, Ray. You'll be very pleased, okay? Okay. 
And about three months later, we put him through a, a specialized rehab program we have for retired players. I am an addict, number one. Like every day emotionally for me, I gotta make sure that, or try to make sure I'm keeping everything in check. I'm six foot four and 230 pounds. There's not too many things I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not afraid of gunplay. I'm not afraid of not, I'm not afraid of any of it. You know what I'm afraid of? A little ass fucking white pill. I'm afraid if I take one, you won't never see me again. Never. We're three years into our treatment program with Ray, and it's great that he's thriving. He has a successful family life. Five million dollars. I'm thinking maybe a right tackle. He's got a great career. And now he's a vital part of our organization. This is the rest portion right yeah, here. For what it's going to do, the relief, it, those shots wouldn't bad at all. And then there are the ongoing challenges with Ray. Up until this week, oh, huh? God. Where is it, in the neck or the lower back? From the top of the neck, and it goes into the middle of my back like that knife. Ray is going to be in chronic pain for the rest of his life. So keeping that pain in check without the use of narcotics is very challenging. Okay. Is that pretty much the yes. spots? Yes, yes. Trying to get out in front of his brain trauma, he is already having memory issues, um, and he's colorblind, so it does not go backwards. Well, where's the pain in the lower back, down here? D dealing with, with, with a case like Ray's is a case that never ends. That is Brett Boyd, a guard center. I suffered at least 200 concussions in, in my career. There's this marker on your brain, it's called tau protein. It's a marker for CTE. And they tell me you've got it and you're on your own. One of the things we've been working on are protocols to reverse or lessen the symptoms that are related to post-concussion issues. After Junior's death, the mission of raising awareness is done. It's time to find solutions. This has been positioned to him as he's going into a safe environment to be able to get off of all of his medications because it will make his brain better and he wants to make his brain better.